everybody, welcome to another episode of Hollywood Rundown featuring all these people that we don't need. Woo! Do like a proper intro because we couldn't do it because of these people. Anyways, hi, it's Hollywood Rundown. This is Sasha, this is Carla Jones. Cut. <laughs> I'm joking. Episode, we're going to tell you about a lot of things. But first of all, got to tell you that we are giving away money. 50,000 rupees every day and 1 million rupees a month. That's a lot of money, that's right. And the way you can register for that is uh, by sending an SMS to 7766. What you have to do is type S-U-N, leave a space, type your name, then your city and your ID number and send it across. You could be a winner. Money, you never know. money, money is a little No, not really. <laughs> talk about what happened at Hollywood for sure and it all starts with Hailey Bieber, Kylie Jenner and Selena Gomez. Can't you and, and enlighten? Justin, and Justin. Oh yeah, Justin too. Yeah, that guy. Baby, 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 oh like baby, baby. Imagine no. they fought over because of this guy who just, you know, is just like yeah, I mean, what is I don't get about it. this guy? Okay, I don't get it. But you know, it all started when Justin started dating Selena Gomez, and then when, <laughs> later on went to Hailey Bieber. Now yep. Hailey Bieber hates Selena Gomez for no reason, and yep. she wants to shade her. And that's exactly what happened. So Hailey Bieber and Kylie Jenner were making fun of Selena Gomez's eyebrows. Now this kind of did not go well with those two. Because yep. It kind of backfired. Let me tell you that. Okay. But I thought it was fine because you know Kylie uh, posted saying like, oh. It's not even a big deal. I didn't do it because of anything. And then Selena was like, "Oh yeah, you know, yeah, you're, you're cool, girl. Yeah. I love you." That's how the interaction went on TikTok. What happened? But apparently they were shading her, and she knew that. And yeah. Kylie Jenner lost one million followers on Instagram. Instagram. Now there's a small feud going on between Kylie Jenner and Selena Gomez because Selena Gomez surpassed Kylie Jenner to become the most followed woman on Instagram. Which was held by Kylie for like the longest time, right? So she we are did not like that. We but we love Selena. Go, girl. <laughs> but the best part about all this drama is like, you know, even though everyone's so involved in it, posting TikToks and, mm -hmm. you know, Selena's fans are like defending her, Selena's just not even on socials. She's just like, She's like you know what? I'm taking a break, guys. Go, boy. <laughs> she came back and then she took a break. It's just like, oh, no, not again. Yeah. I, I, I kind of feel like, you know, everything's getting into her. But did you see much. that one video? About you know Haley like you know making a face when they mentioned Taylor Swift. <gasps> oh yeah, she was a uh, oh. exactly. Carl, you don't do that. It's Taylor Swift, miss. You don't talk about Taylor Swift like that, or Selena Gomez. Nobody. Oh, just. I mean that's yeah. That, just, you don't just agree. Stay, with let's not talk about Looper. But hi guys, let's talk about BTS. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which member are you starting with? I'm starting with Jin, that's already military by the way. Yes, he's, he's the joined. oldest, if anyone knows. Obviously, everybody knows, everybody's mm -hmm. arm is here. But I'm pretty excited that J-Hope is going to be joining with Jin, actually. You know, yeah. he did mention that he wants to start it off and finish it off. But I'm kind of mm -hmm. a little bit confused here. I want a little bit of help from the armies. I thought Sugar was older than Jin. I mean, I mean J-Hope. Yeah, it's very confusing. <laughs> but then Jin joined uh, the military in yep. on December 13th and yep. he's been there serving. And apart from these two who's joining the military, we have the others uh, like Sugar who is going on tour. Yep. And we also have Jimin who's yep. going to release his album called Face. Yes. And it's coming out on March. Yeah, alongside with Rough Monster helping him. So we love that. We love how the boys are still in touch. And uh, talking about the most famous one, Jungkook has been just doing wee lives and doing nothing in his life. Apparently. Well, Jungkook is uh, Jungkook is fun. Jungkook. He doesn't need to do anything. He's just like, like you know, he's, he's at chilling. this point where he's like, I'm giving my childhood self the break I never got. And then RM is like, yeah, let me just help everybody, okay? I know. Yeah, let's just yeah, he's on you want help? Because he he releases album. Yeah, thank like you. Go. Yeah. He released his album in to go a while ago, so he's like, you know what, I'm kind of done with the work. So you want help, buddy? Like, you know, he's just like, yeah, with the album, with the tour, everything. Exactly. So, really nice. Oh, the guys are the still boys. You got me okay. Do you watch Friends? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's I really talk about it. them. <laughs> but, you know, some somebody that I feel was not appreciated that much was Courtney Cox. True. And she took such a long time to get a star. Mm -hmm. And she finally got her one. Uh, she got the... 2750th star <laughs> and I'm super excited about it uh well 
Jennifer Aniston yes. and Lisa Kudrow yep. joined her and they gave a funny speech. Did you see the speech? I actually did. I, it was such a nice thing because, you know, they were there to support her. Yeah. And it's like something like, you know, making my childhood really happy about. <laughs> and they also told something like this. They were like, she's our friend. She's also a sister. And I was like, ah, you guys cannot get any cuter. I'll be your sister. No. Do you watch Euphoria? No. She did not. Uh, you actually watched it? I watched it. What oh. seasons? The whole reason why I watched it is because I wanted to see what's going on between Cassie and Maddie. Maddie yeah. Like the whole yeah and the boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my love <laughs> Jacob Elodie, okay? He's he's sick. Yeah, he's just like somewhere between is like, yeah, I'm just gonna be tall here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do the job. Yeah. Even though the acting, I'll be the nice person. <laughs> I actually do love Zendaya though. She did an amazing job acting as Rue and mm. I really do appreciate her acting because I actually felt she was Rue and she yeah. was she did not even give any signs that she was Zendaya at that moment. I was just like That is very true. Uh, the way that she you know performs uh yeah. there you know there there are certain performances somewhere in between, okay? Yeah. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but you can go ahead and do that. And you know, the way that she acts, completely different from all the characters that she played before. And apparently she is getting a race oh. for every single episode. She's getting close to one million dollars. And That's that is money. per episode, lot. right? So people are kind of skeptical about this. They were like, mm, "Does she actually deserve this?" Because Wait, so there's going to be eight episodes, so that means eight million dollars per episode. Tom Holland can stay at <laughs> home. And watch yeah, the actually, he'll just be like, <laughs> "Spider-Man." <laughs> he'll be like, "Yeah, I'm going to train the Spider-Man." Just imagine how like <laughs> Spider-Man and Rue together, like. It'd be so lovely. He's like, eh, baby, you want some pasta? <laughs> no, I'm depressed. Talk. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's about it. some of the interesting <laughs> things that took place in Hollywood. So, we'll be back with more next week. Right? On no? episode 12. Oh, that's right. We've been doing way too much. <laughs> All right. Yeah. See you. Goodbye. Now go. Bye. Go. You go. I'm going. Bye. <laughs>